break up this half an hour into three questions. Um, and the first is, what happened this weekend? So if you went to any events yesterday, or if you um, heard something that was really great from one of the sessions today, um, share it with the rest of the group. Um, tell them what the second is. Okay, and the second question is what you want to see from the Radical Housing Network in the future. Uh, and the third one is any shout out from your own group or anything else you know about. Okay, so we'll start with the first question, which is um, what you learned today and yesterday, what things you saw. Does anyone have any? I can, I will start with the talk. Um, I really liked it yesterday at the newest event, um, which I went to, which I hadn't had any involvement with organising. And we were in a cafe in Lewisham, and it was just like packed, like you couldn't really get in the door. And people were like coming up to the door, and they were like, oh, I can't get in. Um, and that was really exciting. <laughs> um, that was really exciting, and I really liked that, and I felt like, um, more things like that happening all across London and being like we were right on the high street so people walking past were just like oh what's this you know um, those kind of things could just be happening all across London getting these conversations going more and more um, so that we can find people yeah. <laughs> anyone else want to yeah. finding out actually that uh, there are lots of groups well the London ones in a way that actually are uh, starting to talk to each other because um, last couple of years I did actually see pockets of uh, squatting network, private renters, uh, social housing or council housing tenants, and they weren't talking to each other. <laughs> they seem, and then talking to them actually, they should actually link up and they sort of think it's actually, no, you don't, it, they're all completely different. And I suppose it's better late than never that actually they, they have actually started, real, they have realized that actually they're all in the same boat, really. Like the budget guys, um, so yeah, it's good. And uh, the more the merrier. Um, yeah. So I'm going to enjoy the. Yes. Um, I really enjoyed the um, uh, film night that happened yesterday evening in Brixton. I initially thought it was going to be a relatively small thing based just on sort of Lambeth struggles, but it actually turned to be a really big event and had people from all over London coming. We had like the folks from Fifty Mums, and we also had films that were. Uh, documenting like past struggles and then at the end of it people were going up and saying like we need to look, like looking at the past and then looking at present struggles such as crafting and gardens and it was just just a really sort of like coming together of lots of different um, communities in different parts of London from past and present and it just was something that was bigger than I was expecting it to be which was really good so that was great. There was still like 50 people in the room at like 10.30 on a Saturday night. <laughs> 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 so is there anything else on this weekend? Yeah, and then we had a nice little photo op, and it was all very polite. 
legal advice, resources, where you can go to get um, get some of the kind of help that's been talked about, and maybe even like forum boards where people can discuss some of the stuff more openly. And da, 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 da. Um, but yeah, so if anybody you know is, is keen to kind of build up some of those online um, resources and networking tools and stuff, um, that would be great. <laughs> um, yeah, I.
connection with maybe some of the issues that overlap it. Mm -hmm. so pretty much what I was saying is that I wish I could mention it. Like we had that overlap in the board as well, for once that I read in school. Um, so then, yeah, we can support not just the particular sport, but whatever people that support it. Mm -hmm. all the different I used to actually run a palm tree myself with Occupy, and um, but, uh, well, I had 5,000 texts, um, and I managed to actually use that within the month. Mm -hmm. But then you use something like a WhatsApp, and that will allow you to actually send as many texts as you want to support. Uh, but <laughs> for the most part, a phone can also only send 60 uh, at a time before it actually doesn't like it anymore. Well, Thank you. 
have had things that have been. So we've got there's one. Sorry, you go first. Um, yeah. So we've got a digital social for um, kind of tenants in Dulwich Junction um, on Thursday. Yeah. On Thursday at the monthly ground meeting. Tuesday after that, there's also the um, local urban reading group, which is Dulwich, um, Mauritian, and Lambeth. Um, and we also dance in Camden Road. And if I, yeah, I mean, if anyone's going to be interested, it's me. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so you can get there and come and come back and talk about that. Mm -hmm. So it's here, I'm going to see that people are traveling and speaking. Yeah, um, May Day, which is, I can't remember, it's Thursday. Uh, well, May 1st anyway. Uh, it's going to be May Day Parade, of course, but afterwards we're doing an action called Occupy Wonga or Ronga. Uh, don't know the details, but it's going to be after the May Day Parade and we'll do some direct action. So hopefully, please join us. It should be fun. Um, so, in conjunction with the reading group, uh, Lambeth Renters has their specific meeting which is going to be on Tuesday the 13th of May. It's going to be at the EFRA. Um, not the old Conservative Club EFRA, the other one. Mm -hmm. um, and that will be at half past seven. So everyone's welcome to join if they want to. Okay. On the yeah, mm -hmm. Tuesday the 13th of May. Okay. Will all these be listed on the um, event yeah, page? Yeah, I'll try and follow <laughs> it up. I haven't got all the details, but we'll put it. We'll put it. There's a calendar on the website. Up. Um, the seventeenth of May is the uh, property tax action against the bedroom tax. Street market is the um, really tax. <laughs> 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 so it's at eleven a.m. Um, and then we've got the national meetup of the bedroom tax prevention campaign. Seventeenth. Uh, I think seventeenth. somebody said that it's June ninth. Seventeenth. Seventeenth June in Manchester. Okay, because I've got uh, June ninth in the other one. Okay, so I've got, uh, June 9th and the other one. Unless it's actually a couple of days. Saturday, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I found a slide out there from Housing Action Southern Lambeth. I don't think anyone actually saw somebody here from that group who mm -hmm. doesn't message it yet. Um, but this week, Wednesday the 30th, 6.30, Food Cake Social is the first person in the group who's sitting in that family of Richard Hill. Probably more files down there. Um, there's another event about to start happening in Brixton, starting in Brixton on the 1st of May and running right through to the 14th. The views of events, assuming lots of stuff like spoken word and bring us to that. We're looking at the history of different groups in Brixton that are kind of out on the edge. So we're assuming queer people, black people, um, migrant groups, um, and uh, people fighting against being supported, um, all sorts of stuff going on. And that's called Survival Guide to Brixton. Um, and yeah, there's a couple of film nights. Some of the film nights have been filmed about struggles about housing mm -hmm. and about escapes in South London, including Hay Gate and others mm -hmm. in Lambeth. So some of the stuff we talk about might be interesting to you. When was that going to be? Starts on the 1st of May, it goes like the 14th. It would be either like 11 events spread over two weeks. So some of them might be more interesting than others if you're interested in some housing stuff. Um, if you're interested in spoken word, there's loads of spoken word. <laughs> Unusual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not against it, I'm just going to be If anyone is interested in finding out about um, Arash Tali Basim Zondola, who I mentioned earlier, South African social movement fighting for land and housing, there's a film screening of a film made about them called Dear Mandela, um, 29th of April, uh, Tuesday, which is next Tuesday night, 7 p.m. ULU, which is University of Queers London Union, Union uh, on Mallet Street uh, near Russell Square. Um, please, and there's also an action planning event, so planning action in solidarity with this amazing social movement in South Africa. Um, so, yeah, if you're interested, please come along and uh, speak to me afterwards so I can give you more information. Thank you. Um, yeah, just a little FYI, there's um, nothing agents and state agents of war sponsored by Blue Star. <laughs> the hotel on the 20th of June. Um, it might be an interesting focal point for people with energy in 
because I like those people very much. <laughs> um, and, a, and a bit of a sort of way off in the distance, um, there's a group in Oxford who are looking at um, running an event um, alongside Nifty in the UK um, that's going to sort of borrow a lot of the model of Open House sort of last year in an occupied space. Um, so that'll be around the 15th and 17th, we haven't fixed the date exactly, or the, the length, but it'll be workshops, um, skill shares, talks, similar to the weekend, but over um, a long period, sort of like three to five days, um, and hopefully a good place for, for organising and, and lots of other kind of creative action. Um, so there'll be, we're, we're sort of early days, but if anyone's interested in either coming to speak at that or, um, or has ideas for how that could work, October, um, and we're calling it House of the Commons at the moment. Um, it's not a shout out, but I guess. Okay, uh, okay, so guys, I'll uh, see you later. <laughs>